Hey everyone, in this video we will look at how to find the values that are causing the error in Power Query Editor. So let's say a date is not in the right format and the, the, that is causing an error a column or a value, in, an error in the column for a row. So how do we find out what specific value uh, that that is causing that error? So I'll quickly take you through that. So I'm on the Power Query Editor, I'll hit on the Transform Data tab. Sorry, I was on the Power BI desktop. I clicked on the Transform Data tab, so it opens the Power Query Editor for me. And here you can see that for date of sale, so date of sale has got an error here. And let's say I want to see what's the value which is causing causing that error. So how do I find that? So I'm on this table. I'll go into the Add Column um, tab, and I'll hit Custom Column. And here I'll just say, um, you know, I'll just say error value maybe. And I'll just put a try clause here and I'll pull the data sale out because that's the value I'm interested in and I'll hit OK. And you can see it's showing me the, these records. So I'll open this arrow and here it's showing me two. I'm not interested in any of the values. So I click on load more and what it does, it brings this. Uh, I'm not interested in this or this. I'm interested in this column called error. So I'll bring that and hit OK. And you can see it again uh, brings um, a, a record for me. So you can see they're still not able to see the value, but it says there's a record here. For everything else, it's a null. So I'll, I'll again click on this. And um, from here, what I'm after is the detail. So the detail is what contains the value which is causing the error. So I'll hit OK here. And you can see now that you know all the records which have an error. So date cannot be two. Date cannot be y. Date cannot be uh, have a month as zero zero. It cannot be a negative value. So all these things. So if I filter out the nulls here, I can see all um, the values which have caused the errors. So in a way, you know, you can see these are the values, and then you can you can go back to the business and say, hey, these are the issues that I I want to highlight to you, and can you please resolve them and get better data. So in this video, we've essentially uh, uh, found a way to quickly find out uh, specific values which are ca causing errors for us. And uh, then, you know, uh, we uh, surface those errors and pass it along to whoever needs to take action, maybe a data steward. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.